this time we're gonna attempt to fit a uh, Max Air Sky Max Plus roof vent. Uh, this one's got the addition that it's got the LED lights built into it. Uh, I purchased it quite a while back from a company called Grasshopper Leisure for £140. Now that was delivered and that's including the LED strips with it. Um, now that's the cheapest I could find it anywhere by probably 40 to 50 pounds so you know if you want one that's the place to go grasshopper leisure so anyway um it's a 400 by 400 and it's going in the back of the van um reason being we're just sick and tired and getting boiling we haven't got enough ventilation i didn't really want to fit the big brother the max air fan uh in there because we've already got one in the small one in the toilet which does actually circulate but we've got no light at the back of the van it's very dark and dingy and so this is the reason more light more ventilation i did do a little bit of uh, checking as well on youtube to see who's actually fitted these before and i got a bit of inspiration by a couple of uh, uh, youtubers one was uh, the sand van uh, over in australia they fitted one in their van and also our time van life uh, they also fitted the larger version into their van, so I mixed and matched a few ideas from both of their channels, I hope you don't mind guys, and uh, I'll come up with my little version, see how it comes out. Voila, and she's out. So hopefully we've protected the inside of the van just by putting some more insulation to the top of the roof, catching all the iron filings. There you go, eh? Now the good old trusty Parkside vacuum cleaner from Lidl. Nice and smooth. Just putting a nice bit of uh, white match paint on the inside rim just in case it starts to rust a little bit. So what we've done here is uh, made our own little gasket and to build it up in the areas where the ribs are. Um, it's like a mastic. And then what we'll do, we'll put the, uh, the roof light in there, put a piece of timber underneath to give it some uh, rigidity. And then what we'll do, we'll CT1 round the edges to get a good seal. There we go, all nicely finished off with a big bead of CT1 white. Just uh, hope it stays waterproof. Nice finish all round, look. There we go, all nicely uh, sealed now. Just got to put the insulation back, the vapour barrier. Oh, I'm going to do some electrics up the corner because obviously there's some uh, lights built into these. So 
So here we have it, the final finished article. Um, it's come out quite tidy. There's the LEDs, nice and bright. I couldn't do anything with the existing ones. They were already there, so I didn't really want to fill all that lot in. Um, but as you can see, it's a cracking bit of kit. We've also got a little uh, flycatcher mosquito net for them uh, evenings that we get them little biters in. And also, total blackout. What a cracking bit of kit, eh? Quite a handy little thing with these, uh, these vents. You've got these perforated vent holes here, which obviously gives you natural ventilation even when you're, you've got the roof down. But basically you can just take these out and just change them and put a complete blank one in which obviously shuts off all ventilation. But I don't think I'd recommend that. I think I'll stick to these for now. I think the only way the rain will get in these is if uh, we get some of that sideways rain. So there we have it guys. That was the installation of the Skymax uh, roof vent. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you'll catch us again quite soon. Not uh, No idea what we're going to get up to next, where we're going. We've got quite a few trips booked already, some festivals and what have you. And uh, I hope you can uh, like us and subscribe and uh, give us a bit of a like if that's okay. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you later. Bye bye.